and this is massive, it's a home Commonwealth Games. This one's going to be probably the most special of them all, just because of the home crowd, the home atmosphere. A big, big home crowd making a lot of noise when we walk onto poolside. It's going to be a, an amazing atmosphere and it will really lift the, the performances of all the swimmers. It will be a different crowd, it'll be amazing. I think that's something that's going to help me. Just the atmosphere really, um, it's going to be electric. Going behind the box and hearing the roar from the crowd. It's going to be amazing. I'm just really looking forward to the home crowd giving me the support. Oh, it's just the, the crowd. I think it'll be amazing being on home soil. 10,000 um, Scotland supporters there in the stands. It's going to be incredible. Being supported by people you know is going to be great. Speaking from the experience of London, it made a huge difference there and, and really helped my, improve my performance and the result I got at the end of it. I'm most looking forward to just working hard toward like towards my goals. Mainly looking forward to just swimming in this great new venue. I'm really looking forward to just racing and having the home crowd behind you. It would help motivate me quite a lot and make me work that much harder in training. I had a taste of what it's going to be like because I had such a big crowd uh, down for the trials. We've had, I guess, we've had a good couple of weeks racing at Scottish and British Champs, so now I know what I need to work on uh, race-wise. Just really focusing on the training and just hoping to go there and just do the best I can. I've just got to let everybody else do their thing. I've got to stick to my plan or my, my coach's plan. I'm really going to try everything I can in training to be as best prepared for this summer to try to regain my Commonwealth title. I'm really looking forward to the relay events like the medley relay I think will be a real contest and I think Scotland can be right in there amongst the medals. We'll be trying our hardest to um, get close to the same kind of result that we did last time. I mean we won the silver medal last time. I know that since younger swimmers can drop their times easily, hopefully I can do that at the games. Competing against all of the like international athletes. The whole being part of Team Scotland and competing at a home games is just amazing. I'm so excited for it. I'm looking forward to first of all competing for Scotland, make my country proud, and I'll think about that every day in training. It's an honour and something I'm really looking forward to, and I just can't wait to get in and race now. The realisation of making a team really setting in that'll be good. Mm -hmm. it's really, really like. I thought about it a couple of years ago and it didn't really seem possible but now that it's here I'm just proud and relieved to be the final one. It will mean a lot to me to represent Team Scotland and second of all staying in the village. Just getting into the village and being actually part in the games actually beginning. I like to be a little bit stupid at times and and get involved, try and get people involved with the team a little bit more and show them the way and what it's going to be like. Some of these young guns, it's going to be their first time at like a major international meet. Um, so it's wonderful and hopefully I'll be able to sort of share stories uh, and give them as much tips and pointers as I can. It's my first uh, my first game so I'm just really looking forward to get, um, get being a part of the action. I think it'll be, it'll be a very special experience. It's not something that many people will be will get to experience. I've never really felt like this before me. Um, it's a whole new experience um, representing Team Scotland in the Commonwealth Games. This time at the Commonwealth Games it will be a whole different experience from last time. The crowd will be here supporting us. I don't want to get like, too excited, but I hope I don't. <laughs> Looking forward to going into this being slightly more mature, you know, I'm nearly 18 years old now, so hoping to take some new things out of it. I'm excited to come home and say I've been at a Commonwealth Games and if I've got a medal in my hand that'll just be even better.